Hobby Games TV. Welcome to Hobby Kids TV. Today we're going to look at the gameplay of Skylander Swap Force. Right at the beginning, the game begins with an airship going down a volcano chasm. This game has a lot of great cutscenes like this, and it also prompts you when you need to put one of the Skylanders onto the portal like this. Now we're going to put Swash Buckler onto the portal, and as you can see, he gets teleported into the game. As a character, Swashbuckler has the water attribute, so in certain areas he's stronger than others when uh, water is more desirable. He can use his tentacles, he uses a cutlass, and also a musket that shoots balls of water, and sometimes you can get piranhas in there, depending on the upgrades. At any time in the game, you could take off the Skylander that is on the portal and swap it out with another one. So let's try Blast Zone. Blast and Furious! Blast Zone has the fire attribute. He throws bombs. He can charge a sticky bomb. Uh, he has a furious charge where he can charge up and zoom across the screen, also hurting enemies. And he can make a fire shield with his breath, as you can see here. Now the last character that comes with the game is Ninja Stealth Elf. Let's try her out. Silent but deadly. Ninja Stealth Elf has the life attribute and she uses her small swords to cut around. She can also jump and flip and hop. But her special ability is really neat. She can deceive people in thinking she's going one way, but appear in another direction, and leave little scarecrows in the place of where you think she may be. So she can sneak up to people and her attacks are doubled when she's in that stealth mode. Uh, maybe a little difficult at first player, but once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. Now the special part of Skylander's Swap Force is you could actually swap the lower and top portions of the characters. So we're going to demonstrate that. We're going to have our hobby kid swap out the two parts of Swashbuckler and Blast Zone. And now we can teleport them into the game. So now we have Wash Zone. His upper part can have the same attacks as Swashbuckle where he shoots the balls of water and uses Cutlass, but the lower portion he has the same attacks as Blast Zone. So he has the water and fire attributes now. Now let's see what we get with the other combination. So Blast Buckler also has the fire and water attributes, but the lower portion he has the tentacle and ink attacks, but his upper portion has the same as Blast Zone, the sticky bombs, the throwing bombs, and the fire shield. Well, let's say you have a friend that wants to play. How do you get another Skylander involved? Well, it's pretty simple. The other player just has to play, press A to join, and then you put on another Skylander, and he gets teleported into the game. Playing this game with two players does make it a lot more fun. The levels go by faster, and the puzzles are a little easier to solve. If you do try to get too far away from the other person, however, there is a tether that kind of ties you to the same screen. Unlike the LEGO games where the screen will split, Skylanders doesn't have that available. Now let's take a look at the upgrade options that are in the game. You can choose from the top or lower portion to upgrade your character. And if you swap out the pieces, each individual top and bottom piece keeps its upgrades. So whether you use the top portion on another character, it keeps track of those upgrades. Skylander has really simple puzzles, but they're not so simple that you kind of get frustrated. They're real simple, easy to do, easy to follow. They even have lock games where you need to make two pieces come together so you can open certain doors. 
Another cool feature of the game that every time you encounter a new enemy, there's a little cutscene that shows you the enemy and his name. Skylander has many cool lands with a lot of nice features. The boss battles aren't too hard, but still challenging. As a father playing games like this, sometimes things are either too easy or too hard. There's a lot of colorful characters. You see half shark, half armadillo type of characters. The animations when you go over bridges are well thought out and look really nice. As you play this game, it doesn't feel like they cut any corners when they made it. They took their time and made all the animations look really good. And what happens if you run out of hit points? It's not a problem. Just put on another Skylander onto the portal, and boom, you're back in the game. So that way, that's not very frustrating if you do get knocked out of the game. As long as you have another Skylander, you can keep on playing. The levels have different backdrops. You can play on the desert, in creepy places, lifelike places, and even the snow. The game also has a good storyline, but it's never too serious and they always try to keep things light. So to sum it up, Skylander's Swap Force is a really fun game. It's not like the LEGO games where I found it to be too repetitious. It's challenging enough to keep my attention, but not too hard where I find myself just wanting to walk away. It's definitely a game I enjoy playing with my son, and he really likes it too. So we give it three Hobby Kids thumbs up. Stay tuned so you can see other character reviews. If you like this review, like and subscribe. And if you want to see the unboxing of this game, just click on this picture right here. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.